Okay, so y'all know how I always like to share with y'all what I'm doing step by step, but right now, I cannot believe the level of disrespect that I am receiving. Hi everyone. So today I actually took a half day because I really need to devote some time to seed starting, to gardening. I just need to give my garden some love. So you know what we're going to do today? We are planting green beans and they are going right here. So let's get started. So every single year around December, I start making all these garden plans and ordering my seeds like I'm supposed to, going over what I'm supposed to plant. And then it's like time fast forward and I'm back here at the same place I am every year with getting behind in time because I know how quick it heats up here. Like I should have been had some of this stuff planted but I have a lot of stuff in the grow room. And for all of you who asked for a tour, I have not forgotten about you. It is coming. Now I'm gonna do you like my family because that's what we are. Y'all let me straighten up just a little bit in there and then we will take a tour. But right now the grow shelf is in there. The grow shelf is almost full. I'm playing musical chairs. So today we are going to direct sow um, these green beans because I really feel like it's warm enough. Um, today is mid seventies. I looked um, at the forecast. It's going to be in the eighties. So I don't really see any more frost our way, but you always got to be careful because um, like my mom says, when we think we're out of the clear, like right around Easter, sometime like that, it will get like one last little um, cold snap that'll come in. But I'm just going to take my chances because I, I really, really got to do something about this garden. Okay, so this is the area I'm about to clean up and I'm going to go ahead and prep my soil and we're going to direct sow these. And I have my garden tower because the beans that we're planting today, which is the uh, Algarve, those are trailing beans. So basically you have a trailing bean and you have a bush bean. The bush beans are um, bushy. They don't trail and they may need a little support, but with the trailing beans, you're going to actually have to train them to go up. These particular beans get about six to seven feet tall. So we definitely have to train them, but I definitely look forward to green beans um, this year. I grew some not last season, but the season before that, they were so good, so fresh. You will not find anything in the store that tastes that good. So let me go ahead. I hate to put on a long sleeve shirts, but when I tell y'all these sand gnats are something serious, like they are seriously biting me right now. Um, so let me go ahead, get this area cleaned out, get my soil prepped, and then I'll show you the green bean tower. We'll set that up together, and we are going to direct sow these beans because I think, I really do feel like we're in the clear. We may just get a little bit more like a cold snap, but I don't think it'll be like down to freezing temps. So we'll get that done. So that way I don't have to harden off anything. They're gonna grow and we're gonna train them. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna start. Okay, so y'all know how I always like to share with y'all what I'm doing step by step. But right now, I cannot believe the level of disrespect that I am receiving from these sand gnats. Like they are in swarms in my face. One has flown in my eye. And it's like they're asking me, what am I doing out here? So here is the thing. If they're bad now, I don't know what time I need to come out in the garden because they're bad in the morning, they're bad at night, and apparently they are bad right now. But let me show you really quick. We got all of our, um, the last little bit of greens pulled up. Um, we just had a few more turnips that were left over that I'll take inside. And then we have the, um, let me get this leaf out of here. We're not eating this y'all. And we had the, the red mustards, which are so good in salads. Like I tell people, you don't need but like one or two leaves because they really have like a spicy bite to it, but they really take your salad up a notch. So I'm just gonna set these aside and then 
um, like I said, this is what was left from this bed. Um, I'll probably just go ahead and dice them up and freeze them because you know the grocery stores sell the turnip roots separate from the actual turnips. So we got this cleared out. So now I'm going to add a little more garden soil in here and some compost and we are going to get our tower set up. So I am hoping the rain holds off just a little bit longer and then it can just like pour down once I plant these seeds so it could get some good rain water. But let me just tell you all, thank you so much for your kind words about composting, you guys. You guys are so encouraging, so kind, so helpful. So I am happy to report, I am just going to start. So we are gonna start composting really soon. But I also waste a lot of time myself, y'all, because apparently I had to get this like straight. So I have been playing out here because that's what I'm calling it for a while. And then I got my mallet here. And so I just kept playing with it until I think it's straight. So this is our green bean tower. Um, it was just like three parts that my husband put together. Um, it's not really hard. I actually had a, um, I had one of these and the only thing that I can find is this pole. I can't find the other parts, but I do have a suspicion. So we got those, um, we got this put in and I got it sturdy um, to where it doesn't lean. I really wanted to get it in the ground really nice. So just in case the wind blows hard, it will not blow it over. That will definitely be a catastrophe. So let me show you real quick what I did to prep my soil. This is one reason why I thank you all for encouraging me to compost because I keep buying compost. So here's the compost that we use. Um, I also put a little bit more garden soil in here and then I put some garden tone, uh, the slow release fertilizer, and then we also put some earthworm castings in the soil also. Now, like I said before, with my strawberries um, throughout the grow, growing season, I'll make sure that I come in with compost tea and um, feed it really well. But um, this is basically how we're gonna get everything started really good. Now, with the green bean tower also beca uh, came some twine. So basically what you do is you start down here at the bottom, you make it go up and you hook it right here and you just kind of go up down up down until you're at the end and, and then i'm just going to tie it together um let me go ahead and grab my seeds and i'm going to plant the seeds about one inch deep and this is what you call direct sowing we're not seed starting we're sowing it directly in the ground so that way that will save me from having to harden off um the green beans I had to get my husband to come out here and help me string this up. And he did it the last time. I just merely thought you could just go up and down, but he said I had to go up over and down and under and stuff like that. So I managed to keep him out here long enough to um, string everything up for me. And But you guys, I have laughed so hard because I told you what I use in my soil. And he kept saying, what is that smell? So use your imagination to what he said it smelled like. So I had to hear that probably for uh, at least five to 10 minutes, but we got it done. So now I am about to go ahead. I am going to plant my green beans one inch deep and about two to three inches apart. And we're gonna have these just trail along. Now what I will go ahead and do, I really do think it's about to rain, but I'm just gonna go ahead and moisten this soil really good, then plant everything. And so that way we can at least say we have our green beans done and ready to go. I can check this off of my to-do list. I wanted to show you real quick. I just took my hand and just made the indentation of where I want to drop each green bean in. So the method to what I was trying to do is kind of straddle them in between these two. So once they come up, I can have one going up this um, twine right here and then the other one going up this one um, so that they can go ahead and climb. Like I said, these are about six to seven feet 
um that's how much they uh the height of them so as always thank you all so much for watching this video and i hope you share this video with your family and your friends and if you are not a subscriber we will absolutely love to have you as one so make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video again thank you all so so much for watching and again thank you for all your kind words and your encouragement and until the next video bye bye <laughs>